checking in to um, tell y'all so today is Monday March 25th and um, I've been doing a lot of things but forgetting to vlog because I'm trying to get back into vlogging but I did finish the Reformatory by Tanana Reef Du. I really enjoyed the book um, and enjoyed is kind of a weird word it's like I enjoyed the way the story was told because there were so many metaphors and so many things that I didn't know and had to look up or there was just things that caused me to pause. Um, the reason why I'm like mm, would enjoy because this is a story about a family dedication to each other with like a dash of magic essentially um, and it follows the story of this young boy and this young girl and their dad um, appear to be like a person who is known for um, handling business but because he's known for that he had to leave his family in the care of uh, like a grandmother figure to um, because the, the because there was a lot of white folks after him now the story even even though the story starts off like that is really about the his children so their mother died of cancer a little while ago and one day they go to a store at the store an altercation happens and there's a white girl who says that it was the little boy's the little black boy's fault and it was his fault why the altercation happened. Then they sent him to a boarding school and at that boarding school he met a lot of hates and he realized what is actually happening at this boarding school and while he's trying to do that his sister is on the outside trying to meet with civil rights activists and lawyers to save the life of her brother. So you are pretty much just having two stories being told alongside each other and you're going to find out like what happened to their story. It is there a happy ever after? Does that even exist for black people at this time? It just really makes you want to pause and think about the world. So that book took me on a ride and it was a five star and it really got me pushing into wanting to read a little bit more. So I started um, The Night Sister by Jennifer M and I'll let you know how that goes and I'll just sit here and do some more work and stuff until the end of the month because I think I'm going to do monthly vlogs to kind of figure out how to get back into booktube so see you later using the back of my camera and um going through a struggle <laughs> up here testing it i bought this thing from tj maxx um it has it like hooks up to your mirror and it can just like move with you and stuff um i saw it on the tiktok shop and i said i'm, I'm i want it but i'm not buying it on tiktok shop and i knew it'd be a good investment for doing vlogs in my car so um i went ahead and bought it because i hate just I hate that you see the steering wheel or whatever. So. so I'm trying to make sure, like work on my lighting and I see that it is in balance, but that's okay. Um, I just sat here and went and filmed all this stuff for this um, vlog, all for it to be deleted. So I pulled out my camera and put my phone away with me go over what I'm trying to do for content. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm documenting content that people want for me. So as you can see here, vlogs. I want to try to do some monthly vlogs. I want to try to get them put out um, the first week of every month with the month before vlog. And then I want to do some black wing content. Letting you know, you know, Joe's Library, um, Noir Apothecary, Laissez Faire streetcar the surprise area that i don't want to tell you all about because i can't say it right now bayou hunted house and saint Germain graveyard and also ruby's crew so i have those things there so it'll be seven locations in total this year and then there was also like 
people asking for um like biographies or i'm thinking autobiographies as well so that's what i'm thinking about doing overall and i had to refilm this and had to insert myself into this because there was no other way that i was going to be able to do this so um i did change the settings on my vlog i re i read uh what is it called i read something i re 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 I reset the um, camera, my vlogging camera. Cause it's a good camera, but I messed up the settings and now I'm out here looking like I'm in an Indiana Jones video. And I, I can't be out here in these streets like that. Um, nobody's gonna talk bad about me in that regard. So anyway, I did all that and um, I'm gonna see if I can find some food. I really want ice cream and live my life. And I will continue to listen to The Night Sister. I need to find where the book is at. I need to find my headphones. That's what I need to do. Find my headphones and then continue living life. Anyway, see y'all next clip. It's a rough morning. I went to sleep in what I have on. So you're going to see me do a bit of my like dishwashing stuff or get that stuff prepped. Um, I'm having some allergy stuff, so I can't be on here much longer, but I'll take you through my day is what I'm hoping. And, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll be in a new outfit, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> So I just made this today. Um, this is mushrooms, cabbage, and also um, shredded carrots. And I seasoned it with fish oil, um, mushroom soy sauce, um, Korean red chili pepper flakes, and a little pepper and some salt. And I saw this online from uh, one uh, Asian creator. I forget where but I found it online this is not something I created it's a version of it but not something I created so I'll show you how I turn this into like kind of like a rice paper ball and then I just eat it that way I'll show you the finished results after I tell you what I'm doing so right here is like where I put my rice paper in I got this off of Amazon a long time ago um, but yeah so this is where I, I take the rice paper as you can see this is the rice paper I put it inside of this thing and I turn it um, pro tip is make sure you have enough water in it so it can get that middle piece right here so I just turn it and for some reason I don't know if because my rice paper stuff is old but it takes some time so I like to spin it around a couple times I spin it around a couple times until it softens up a little bit. See it's starting to move a little bit. That's what I'm looking for. Movement. Okay, so that's good enough for me. I'll put this in the back ground. I grab some sort of whatever this is. Take a little scooper. Shout out to Monet for getting me this. I scoop some of the content I just showed you. I put it in there and if you have size of scoopers, this is a middle size scooper if that's what you're looking for. So then I just go on one side, try to tightly go on the other side, straighten stuff out if I have the energy to do so, roll over, put my finger here to make sure it doesn't go out, and then you have a ball like this. Now you're not done yet. You're going to bring the scooper thing back and then you're going to put another one in there. 
Sometimes I like to make these in advance and just have them in the fridge and ready to be fried. And I just fry it in a little bit of oil for a couple minutes on both sides or to both sides look crispy or sound crispy. But again, we're just sitting here just trying to wet this paper. And what we're looking for is to make sure that it's able to move a little bit. But I don't think it's quite ready now. So we'll just keep doing it until it gets a little more malleable. Okay, I think we might be almost there. Just do it a couple more times. Move this to the side. Put this back on the paper. And it's still a little too stiff for me, but I'm just gonna keep rubbing it in until it gets a little bit more malleable. Okay, so then I take this one. I like to put the side that I folded right here down. So I put this one down. I'm gonna roll this over again. We're literally repeating the steps. I don't know why the woman said double it, but I don't question things when it's delicious. So that's what we have. And then you have a roll like this. Again, there's no meat in this, so if you are not a meat eater, you can definitely eat them. So this is what they come out to. As you can see, there's oil in there, but you hear that, Chris? That's what you want. And these are three of them that I already fried up. This is what they look like. This would have been the back. This is the front. Sometimes I like to sear it on the ends, but I don't have to do that. So let's just break it open. I like the way that it breaks open like that. You can still see all of it. Yeah, you can see all of it. So then, hmm, mm -mm -mm. I'm off camera, but this is really good. Mm-hmm, 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 good. This is more spicier than I make them, but I'm the only one eating them, so. This is what I have. All right, there you go, guys. And typically I just store it in like a glass container or whatever container you want. And that is it. Okay, so good morning. This is, or good afternoon, is 1.15. Um, I am watching a guilty pleasure show. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's guilty pleasure. And I am going to make a mushroom risotto. Um, and season all of the vegetables in my fridge. I just cleaned it out. I probably should have filmed that, but I cleaned out the fridge um, and the fri in the refrigerator. So let me show you what it looked like. So this is what it looks like now. Um, I have my berries for smoothies. Um, these two things are ice cream actually that I need to put into like an ice cream maker. Um, and then this is like all good food. And then this is like spices stuff in a vodka that I just keeps in the freezer for you never know this has been in here probably like five years don't judge me but that's just kind of where we're at um but yeah and this is freezer burnt but it's shrimp I don't know y'all <laughs> I can't let it go and then um, I went ahead and like cleaned out this and pushed everything to the front so that I can see everything. So I'm going to wipe it out too because I accidentally spilled something right there. But that's that. So I'm going to show you this um, tray. So you're looking at this tray this way. Um, that is some snap peas, Brussels sprouts, zucchini. And then I coat them in coconut oil. And this on this side, over here, um, there is some potatoes and also some carrots that I seasoned with Cajun spices. Um, and then I put it in coconut oil. So Cajun spices and then salt and pepper. So this is what it looks like. This is salt and pepper and this is the Cajun spices. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. I'm gonna let it roast. Um, I don't know how much time I'll Google it because I honestly don't know. I'm going to let it roast, flip it over periodically, and then I'll let y'all know what I'm doing. And then I'll try to make the mushroom risotto. I'm unsure if I'm going to make that on screen, but I did want to do that. Um, also, I wanted to talk about um, the second book in the series that I'm reading. And I'm going to move over the set so I can put it in there. So the second book in the 
the second book in the series that I'm reading is really interesting. It's um, heating up with the story between Billy and Andrew. And, you know, it's just a lot going on with them because, you know, there was a lot of fire and ice and now it's more like it's simmered down and, you know, both people are starting to realize their role in each other's lives and how far they come and how the goal needs to be of supporting the child. And now something has happened to the child and seeing both of their dedication, not only to each other, but to their child is a beautiful thing. So I have literally 15 minutes left on finishing this book and right now I'm going to give it a four star just like I gave book four and then I will turn into reading book three but I probably will have to start the April vlog for book three but I am truly enjoying this historical romance series by Beverly Jenkins and if you haven't read it please read it and if you don't take my opinion <laughs> to be valid because I am not a avid romance reader my friend Nicole from who picked this book I texted her telling her hey is there a romance like series by Beverly Jenkins if you hear that noise that's my ice um my ice machine that my friend gave me um so I texted her and I was like, hey, is there a series that you recommend me reading by this author? And she picked the same series that I'm reading now. So if she thinks it's good, you know it's good. So go ahead and um, pick it up. And if you wanted like any spoilers or something about the series, I can do a separate video of spoilers. But it is really so good. So go ahead and read that. But I will catch y'all in the next clip. So I made the risotto. Sorry if you hear the fan and all that other stuff. But I'm just going to let it sit for like 20 minutes. So this is a cool little like projector light that I got um, as a, an influencer. And it comes with this thing that you put on the top here. I'll put the link to this in the description box below. And as I turn this, you can see where it has a couple things and modes and like how you can turn it on. In addition to a couple little things that can change when you put it in the chamber so that you can see different things. So one second. All right, so I put one in here. And I made this room fairly dark. This is where I love to have this in my living room and I've used it for months and I just didn't have time to do a review. So this is like a one month review of me really liking this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Oh, I guess I gotta plug it in. That's on me. That's on me. Let me get this off the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. Bluetooth mode. So you can also use Bluetooth with it. I do not but I want to get y'all to look at the ceiling. Look at that. It's just like covering the wall. And I have it over my kitchen, but I can easily move it. Now I have it over my living room. You can change this thing here. You can like make different things. So I'll just change it so you can see just different options for it. Just remember you can use like these things to make them different. So I like to keep them near there because ain't nobody got time to lose them. So yeah, again, very beautiful, covers up the wall. You can definitely change even colors on it. You can do so many different things. Here is the remote. And thank you for letting me talk about my cool little thing that I like to have on at night when I'm watching TV. See y'all later. All right, and I'm not saying this to end of the vlog, but it is. I don't have time to finish the last part of the book, but you will you'll know what happened in the April vlog. Anyway, out of breath, give me a second. Coming back in, um, I went and got this beautiful Swiss cheese is what they call it, um, common name, for this plant. I don't need more plants. But I did want this plant. So I waited for a long time before I bought another plant, which is this plant. And then 
I have like two or three plants I'm about to put on Facebook Marketplace. But other than that, I have it here and um, I'm just going to go ahead and quarantine it in this corner here. And then we'll just see how it goes. Well, I want to say thank you all for watching this vlog. It meant a lot to me as my first one. And I'm praying that I'm able to get it published on Monday or Tuesday, which is the first or the second. And then I'm just, I'm just really hoping that I can do that. But don't forget to like, comment, and share. And uh, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.